Hey Crafty Cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I am Jessica. Today I wanted to challenge myself, I've been doing that a lot lately, and use the items that are in here, or some of them, um, to create, I think I'm gonna make a journal or a project, I don't know. It's gonna be something. Um, so this box was from Boho Needs. I think she still has some of these available in her shop and she did share a discount code with us. I'll have that information down below and you can at least see if she still has one if you want one. But I didn't want this to just sit. I wanted to use I wanted to use some of it. So, I'm going to go through and I did a full unboxing if you want to like see what's in here. Everything could do something with one of these tags for like a cover but I think there's really pretty fabrics in here oh that's right I forgot that this card was in here and I love anything with an image of a girl and a boy because I have a boy and girl a girl and boy whatever so this maybe I would use for a cover I'm gonna set that aside and these would be cute just for um pages inside if if it's a journal so let's see here yeah, I think I'm just gonna start. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna set this aside. We're gonna make like a base of a journal and then we'll just start decorating it. Now I kind of wanted to use um, this right here for my journal cover because this is just so easy and I have been wanting to do easy things lately. <laughs> so I wanna go ahead and find the middle. I'm just gonna do that the easy way and fold it in half even though I have this scoreboard here. And I am going to make a spine. Okay, so I'm gonna just line that middle mark up just with one of the, one of the um, things here. And I think I'm gonna do like an inch spine. Hmm, yeah, I think an inch. So I'm scoring at seven and then I'll do six and this isn't again remember this isn't lined up with anything but I'm just using oh they're good enough okay and so then you have a spine and you'll I'll just reinforce those fold marks just like that and I want well let me think I'm gonna be putting fabrics on here I think I'm, I think I'm gonna do like a kind of a patchwork style journal so that should be good enough I am going to I think I want to reinforce like the inside pages I and you know what again let's do this easy because that's what I do I am going to at least add glue like this on one of the inside covers, the back one. And I'm using some really heavy cardstock. While I didn't really think this through, you can see I grabbed a few supplies because I thought I might do something like this. So just so you know, I'm just gonna line that up right at where the fold mark is. I want that to be able, be able to open easy. Okay. And I'm just gonna trim the excess. Okay. And I will do the same to the other side and then I'll add a little piece in the center for the spine. Yep, just like so what I kind of didn't think through is since this opens, I don't want to cover the full thing. I still want that to be a pocket, but that's okay. We will just, yeah, we'll add glue. It's not going to look the prettiest, but it will be fine once we decorate it all, you'll see. Okay. 
I'm really just winging this. Okay, so let's see. I wonder if I can just go like this. I did this a really weird way, that's for sure. I'm just folding that the opposite way <laughs> so that I can trim this. See, this, this happens sometimes when we wing it. Okay. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Now, of course, I need to open up <laughs> the little part for the... A little clasp. It's really not going to show, I promise, guys. Don't be doubting me. <laughs> oh, I could have done that so much better. But you know what? It's just, I keep saying it's fine, and then I'm saying it's not. So here, let's see what this looks like when it's closed. Yeah, you know what? We can just add some, we'll add something to make it pretty at some point. <laughs> like some lace. Lace makes everything better. Okay, now, now we're getting somewhere. Not really, but we need a teeny little spine. So I'm going to, oh, this one might work. It would, but it's not long enough. So we, let's see, so we had an inch spine. So I should be able to trim this and have it just be Hopefully, just right. I tell you, the dog is always barking. Okay, I think that's okay. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna so I'm gonna I noticed that it was a little too long and a teeny bit. The thing is, is when you have a middle piece like that, when you when you're reinforcing your spine. If your middle piece is like a, exactly the same size, it's it can make it a little hard to open and close. Like you want it to be a teeny bit less wide. So I hope that makes sense. Okay, <laughs> wow. See what I mean? There's a little bit of a space in between. Just a little one, that's... Good, okay. So that's all reinforced, and so now we could start decorating the cover. So here's my thought. I want to create a patchwork cover, and we could start putting pieces on here. This might show through, which I was thinking could be fine, but if I just use some music paper, actually, we'll cut this down to be the exact size of the cover. And then we'll put the patchwork on here and then I can even sew this and we'll glue this on. So I think I'm gonna do that. And I'm not really worried about the music paper. I'm just gonna trim this down. I'm not really worried. Um, it's probably not really gonna peek through too much. So I am going to start just cutting like squares or pieces of the different fabrics that I want. And this has some like lint on it, but I definitely want some of this green velvet. This is so pretty. I think I wanna do like greens and golds. It's actually a couple hours later now <laughs> from the last clip. I had to go pick my daughter up. This isn't cutting too straight. So let me see, where are my other scissors? I found them. Yeah, I had to go pick my daughter up. So now she's, she usually gets a snack when we get home and then she kind of sits and just relaxes for a little bit. So that's what she's doing. Okay. I wanted that to be a little bit more straight. So then remember I'm trying to kind of fill up the music paper here. Okay. I know I want some of this dark green lace also. This is really pretty. There's just no good way to 
have this set up for filming, I'll tell you. Okay. I have some appliques too, so I did pull those out. Okay, let's go for some gold. Yeah, this is usually what I do when I am doing like patchwork style. I'll just cut little pieces, place them around until I like how it looks. And I try to make them kind of all varying um, sizes. This is a cute one. And I, I like how these are not exactly Christmas fabrics, but we can like make it, oh, that's right, I forgot there was that image that maybe I wanted to use. I'm not sure though, because maybe I don't want to cover up the patchwork, but we'll see. Because it could also be like an inside page. Okay, so maybe something like that so far. <clears throat> That's right, I have trims also. So let's see here. Ooh, I didn't, I forgot about this one do that too. I want more gold. So also I have these and sometimes it looks nice to have like a trim. I just heard Arlo sneezing and oh boy, if I darn wish she's not going to get sick again. It would go like that. Um, because she was sick for like 12 days and like I have to be able to work and I couldn't when she was sick, obviously. Just what a challenge. Okay, I also have this green and I'm sort of thinking I will cut a piece of that. And then I'm hoping to have a little bit more gold. So we might go for a trim that's gold. It doesn't have to be fabric. Okay, so I'm gonna do kind of a longer piece of that. Something like that. I don't know. And then maybe, actually, maybe I'll put this on that side and then hmm, maybe just a piece of that. Then we will move over to the sewing machine and um, this kind of looks like too planned out for my liking. So I think. I think I want to do, ooh, actually, what else do I want to do? Well, maybe I'll do just a piece of trim. You know what, I think I'm gonna start just sewing this. Now, if you really like the layout, you can go ahead and use, you know, a little bit of glue to hold everything in place. But honestly, for me, I just kind of <laughs> move things over because I'm not super set on how this looks anyways, but and I'm just gonna kind of start with a corner, if that makes sense. And, oh, that did go that way. Try to get it as even as I can. And then I'm just gonna kind of start sewing around each piece. And I'm just gonna do a straight stitch. realize the thread I have in here it's kind of a peach color I'm gonna keep it sometimes these laces get a little hard to sew on just right like it kind of bunches up but I'm okay with that yeah it doesn't have to be perfect okay and then do the next one yeah see this one I felt like was I don't like how they're both like the same length if that makes sense so I'm gonna trim it a little bit Actually, that's right. I wanted to add a little bit more of the crushed velvet, the dark green one on top here. So I'll do that first. And I'm just going to do a straight line across real quick with, actually I'll do a zigzag. 
because you'll kind of see that stitch. Then we'll do the gold. And I'm not worried about raw edges and things on the fabrics. I mean, I kind of like that actually, but I do want to make sure that everything's kind of touching. I will go around the entire, uh oh, <laughs> you gotta get a new bobbin. I will go around the entire um, outer part at the end. Since I need to change my bobbin, I'm gonna go ahead and just finish sewing these on off camera so that we can get to the next steps together. So I got this all sewn on and now I'm gonna go ahead and I don't always do this, but I'm gonna trim the extra strings that are just on the front of it at least mostly. Well, maybe some of them here too. Now I normally like that look, but I feel like for patchwork, it kind of helps it, um, I don't know, it, it helps to see kind of like the patchwork design. Not having all of these extra bits and pieces here. Cleans it up a little bit. All right. Okay, so far I am happy with how that turned out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm just gonna glue it straight down to the cover. So I am just going to use my favorite glue, Tombow Mono Aqua, for this. And there's obviously extra, oh no, did you dry out? There's extra strings on the back here, but that's okay. We'll just glue those down. Okay, I got the back covered. And now, let's see, yeah, I'll have that be the, the top gonna glue it down as close to the spine as I can and I could always add you know more lace if I want like upon the um, the spine here and I think I might do that so now I was thinking too that I have appliques and everything but I sort of like how it is now so unless I find one that I really like I mean no, I think I'm going to leave it for how it is, but I do want to possibly add lace to the spine. And then I'm not even sure what I'm going to do to the back yet, but we will figure that out. I could do some stenciling. That might be nice. Or just a single um, fabric. Could do that. I'm not sure yet. So let's work on the spine. And I don't, I'm realizing I might not be able to finish this entire journal in one video. So we'll just see what we can do. <laughs> I don't know why I can't figure out getting the trim off of here, but I might use this trim for the spine. Yeah, in fact, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. I like, oh, maybe I'll layer some. Okay, I think I'm going to cut this in half so it's not so wide. I think I'm just going to glue it on. Now there probably is, some of the um, glue will probably seep through this fabric, but I'm not worried about it because it will dry and it will be all right. Just gonna go like that. Yeah, and then I think I really liked how this looked. Maybe layered on in the center. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just take this to the sewing machine and do a straight stitch all the way down. So I think because I wanna get the back covered, oh, and I got that sewn on. <laughs> I am just going to start out by just covering it with some music paper for now. So I'm just going to glue this down. Just because I'm indecisive about what I would like to put on the back, I can cover it up later, but then to me it just feels more finished. 
So I think we're gonna have to stop here. We got the cover done and hopefully I'll be able to get back to this project early next week um, and finish the inside. Now the inside I'm just wanting to be pretty plain, but either way, I want to have a finished journal. So we got the journal cover finished and I'm pretty excited to see how it's going to come along. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first part of this little series and stick around if you wanna see me finish the rest and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.